Hi everybody, my name is RC. As a photographer and videographer, color is an incredibly important part of what I do. Your monitor is your digital darkroom, so I need to make sure that the images in the video that I work on render as accurately and as beautifully as possible. In my search for this monitor to help with all of this, I spoke with folks at ViewSonic who asked if I would take a look at their 32-inch 4K monitor and see what I thought of it. Creative professionals all over the world depend on ViewSonic monitors, and the VP3268 4K features impressive color reproduction, a good amount of ports for creative users, and a sleek and minimalistic style that will make it a very compelling hat to your studio. The VP3268 is a 31 and a half inch diameter IPS panel that boasts a 3840 by 2160 resolution, showing an impressive 8 million pixels. This is a great amount of detail on a monitor of this size, and the IPS nature of the panel affords you a viewing experience that is beautiful, no matter the angle that it is set in. While we are on the angle side of things, however, another standout feature of the monitor is the design of the stand and the bezel. ViewSonic calls this feature a frameless design, and I have to be honest, it was one of the first things that stood out to me during the unboxing of the monitor. We have several 32-inch monitors here in the studio, and they feel like hulking beasts, right? They're just beefy. And it was really cool to see the really, really thin bezel at the end of the monitor. And it had the overall appeal for it. It just felt a little smaller until you turn it on. Then you realize that every inch of that space that you see is taken up by the screen. And that gave it some really, really cool style points. But it also serves a functional purpose. As your needs increase over time, you can align several monitors together side by side and make for an even bigger display possibility. I'm going to be looking forward to that day. The underside of the monitor has got DisplayPort, Mini DisplayPort, HDMI, as well as high-speed USB and audio in and out ports. While the outside of the monitor wins points, it's really what's on the inside that counts. The VP3268 has got a 1300 to 1 contrast ratio and delivers amazing color reproduction. In the field, you hear something called Delta E, which is a measurement that's used to show how much you can distinguish between two colors, and it goes from like zero to 100. A Delta E of less than one is imperceptible to the human eye. You can't notice it. This monitor has a Delta E of less than two and can be used with a ton of different profiles from sRGB to Rec. 709, a profile that's more used by videographers. The monitor also includes 14-bit LUT tables that make it really good for things that have smooth transitions of colors. A lot of the images that I work with are images that are darker in tone, and I really struggle with making sure that I see all of the details in the shadow. These last couple of weeks working with the monitor have been really good in that I feel like I can really see a difference compared to what I was looking at on the laptop screen or on the old monitor. Things like HDR10 have helped quite a bit to be able to see that extra detail, which I thought was really good. And the built-in HDR settings allow you to be able to eke out a lot of information inside of the shadows and the highlights, which is something that's really good for my kind of work. And because of it being so color true, it eliminates the amount of times that I actually have to go out and print. What I'm seeing is what I'm getting, and I'm getting that out of my prints, and I'm really happy about that. On the video side, the extra real estate is always welcome for things like Premiere, and I get to have more tools available because of the size and great color fidelity. Now, for more information on the VP3268 monitor, make sure you go to ViewSonic.com. My name's RC. Thanks for watching.